In today's video, I'm going to show you the best West Coast style of pass in Madden NFL 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch my uh, video today. We're going to get into the West Coast here in just a second, but if you're new to the channel, what I do on my YouTube page here is I post Madden 21 tips and tricks videos every single day, one at 2 o'clock, uh, a video goes up at 4 o'clock, a video goes up at 6 o'clock, and a video goes up at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time every single day um, that breaks down different tips, different strategies, um, different things that you need to know about becoming a better Madden player on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball. So if that's something that interests you, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click subscribe so that you can get those daily videos. But I also wanted to let you know about my text message membership. Now, on the top left-hand corner of your screen, you should see my phone number. It's 812-216-3644. All you have to do to sign up is just shoot me a text. Now, the, the cool part about the text message membership is every single week, we are going to be breaking down a video for you guys that is very high level and very much so a full scheme. So it might be how to have a full offense out of the gun bunch in the Carolina playbook. It might be how to have, um, it might be the big nickel over G defense, right? We break down some type of offensive or defensive high level scheme that pro players use or that I use um, at the highest levels of Madden and show you exactly what they're doing both pre-snap and post-snap and kind of break it down. So if you want to get access to those videos, just shoot me a text message. My number's in the description as well. Okay, so West Coast book. Now, when you think about West Coast, at least if you're me, you think about two things. Two of the things that I think about when I think about West Coast are I think about these Pro set, uh, you obviously think about Gun Bunch if you've been playing Madden for any length of time. You're probably going to think about Gun Bunch. But the other thing that I think about when I think about West Coast are these little pro sets. These little pro, little quick um, hitting type of sets. And uh, these sets are really, really useful, especially with how good the inside running game is, whether it be from halfback dive or fullback dive, that you can use in these little pro sets. So you see here you have near close would be another example of a really, really good um, little pro set here. Uh, obviously, you have strong close, which um, a lot of people have actually shifted to using uh, strong close as one of their primary offensive um, formations just because of how some of the plays, some of the routes work, um, and some of the things like that. So you have that as well. What we're going to show you today, and the second thing that I think of when I think of West Coast, is I think of quick, short passing. Now, the West Coast offense is really built around timing, passing, timing patterns, and always, not necessarily always throwing short, but stretching the defense horizontally to then open up the vertical, the vertical passing. And uh, we're going to show you this play. I actually really like this. Now, with... Um, with with Tom Brady being the only quarterback in regs that has Hot Route Master, um, I'm going to be using the Bucks because this is actually designed as an offense that you can use at a high level with a Hot Route Master quarterback. And Rich Gannon just came to Mutt, and he is able to get Gunslinger and Hot Route Master. So I want to break down a couple of videos of how to use Hot Route Master at a very high level. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab a couple different coverages here, and then we're going to come out and cover two man. Now, the first play that we're going to break down for you guys is the curls play. This is one of my favorite plays um, in the game. So you see here we have in our audibles the curls play. I'm going to come out and curl drag just to have this at my disposal. But I love these little curl routes from this little far, uh, far tight twins formation. And it's also because one of my favorite routes to use um, in Madden is the ghost route to the back. Well, with Hot Route Master, you're able to put both of your backs on a ghost route. As you can see right here, uh, both sides are going to have uh, these little these little basically underneath routes. So with curl drag, if I just take Godwin, put him on a hitch, and then I have Evans on his route, and I have two ghost routes to my backs, you'll see this is a really easy and simple thing that you can do to kind of work the ball up and down the field against your opponent, whether it be in man or zone. So if they're running man-to-man -man coverage, man-to-man -man is going to give this the toughest time, um, in my opinion, but your tight end will normally get wide open here. Um, so you can just throw that little quick little five-yard pass but what this does is it puts a lot of stress on your opponent if they run zone coverage. So I'm going to show you cover three. And basically, you're just going to find which curl is open. That's all you're basically looking to do. But one of these three routes is always going to be open. Now, most of the time, it's going to be these ghost routes to the backs. They're really, really effective for being just a yard gainer. And I'm, getting, I'm not talking about a ton of yards here. I'm just talking about quick passing to the backs here. Right out of here with this, these two ghost routes and a hitch, um, you'll find a lot of success here. Um, you'll see here this little slot. You can throw his route, which I, I accidentally forgot to lowball it. But I got to lowball that. 
Um, but against man-to-man -man coverage, that route is going to typically work as well. So you're going to have uh, a couple different options against man-to-man, -man, but basically just low-balling these little hitches. As you see right there, it's a quick five. And then you th hit the tight end, that's a quick five. And then the back side of the backfield, one of the things that you can do on these ghost routes is you can snap throw the ghost. So like snap, quick throw, and as you can see here, they're going to give me basically lead blocking. So if I see man-to-man -man at the snap and the guy on the defensive line is not dropping back to kind of handle the running back out of this formation, I can pop this right here, just quick right there. As you see there, that little man switch, little natural rubs, natural picks that can beat the man-to-man -man coverage from this little quick pass. The next thing that you can do from this is, let's say they go to like a cover three, and this is very, very popular, but they'll basically do some type of Mabel coverage, and they're going to basically use her, use her the middle of the field. If you see that um, on this play, this little setup right here is going to really be tremendous for you. Both of the, All of these different curls are going to be wide open. And again, this is what I'm talking about, these timing little quick patterns. This isn't going to go for a lot of plays or a lot of yards. But what this play is going to do for you is it's going to establish the short game. There's no underneath zone in the entire game that's going to be able to handle this. Even cover two, if they shade covers down, which you see here, you just kind of read which which curl is open. In that situation, um, the the route to to um, to Chris Godwin is wide open, right? The next thing you could do if you want to is you could take Godwin and put him on a curl route, and then you could take and have your underneath routes to your backs right here. So it could look something like this. If you have him on a curl route, he's going to go a little bit deeper, um, and it's going to continue to stretch those zones. Now, if you're getting more zone, um, like if you're getting a lot of cover two type looks and things like that, and they start dropping people into coverage off the defensive line, then that's where this, these curl routes are really going to be, um, I think, very effective. So you'll see this right here, little ghost here, little ghost there. And again, you're just kind of working the pocket, working the pocket, working the pocket, and you're going to hit whichever curl comes open, whether it's the hitch or the curl. And what you can do also, and I didn't talk about this yet, if you want to make sure that you always have a hitch, um, what you can do is you can take uh, you can take Mike Evans right here, put him on a hitch. Godwin's going on a curl. Only problem with that is these ghost routes will kind of run. You'll see here, um, you see how they, they look like they're going to run into the same area, but they actually don't, and you can easily hit that little quick route to Mike Evans. So a lot that you can do with this. I actually really like the spacing from curl drag. Um, I'll tend to use this, um, that route to Mike Evans. You'll see against man-to-man -man coverage, I think this thing does really, really good at getting the separation, um, especially because it has that little outside release. Now, let's say they go press man. Uh, you might see a little bit more of that. Um, again, if you see press man, I really, really like just hitting the back quick uh, if I see that. But what you'll see is this route to Mike Evans. Um, there, you can hit that route. As you see there, I can just click on and insecure catch this but this is a very very simple play there's really nothing too crazy now if you don't have um let's say you don't have the ghost route and you can't you can't do the ghost route right you can't do that then just put them on little flat routes and what you'll see is it's still going to open up the spacing the spacing concept is still going to open up the one thing you might try is taking this slot um or this this uh this tight end here and putting him on a uh a streak uh, or a Texas pattern. So, for example, if I take R1, put him on a streak, unfortunately he goes to the left. I actually want him to go to the right here, but you can see something like this right here, um, just kind of getting into the tender spaces on the zone coverage. As Shaq Barrett goes crazy on me. But, um, again, this is a very, very little, just kind of dink and dunk type of pass that you can use. And, again, if they bring their coverage down, like if they shade their coverage down, um, out of like, so let's say a cover two, they're shading their coverage down. You can still hit this X route. You can still hit the hitch route. The ghost routes are going to oftentimes pull those yellow zones um, over to their side. So you're going to be able to just kind of simply, um, you know, really, really easily work the ball up and down the field with this. If you master your quick reads out of this, you're going to be borderline unstoppable on the offensive side of the ball. Because the next thing that they're going to do is if they're running this, they're going to kind of start to shade their hook curls down. And they're going to shade their hook curls at five yards, which we'll show you that in just a second. But I want you to watch Mike Evans' route. You see that it gets um, it gets behind if they shade coverage down. So you can hit that. I just wanted to show that. Let me show you a couple of other things with this real quick. Um, and that's going to be what if they shade their hook curls to five yards. Okay? So that's a good strategy. We're going to give Shaq Parrot a little bit of a break here because he's blowing up my tip because practice mode is just unreal with the shed. 
Um, and then I'm going to put a, another running back here, like McCoy or something. And again, the play that I'm operating out of right now is curl drag. We'll go over curls probably in our next video. But what you'll see right here is if they put their, their, their hook curls down, like at five, uh, like I'm talking about here, watch what happens to your, um, well, of course, I would be in man coverage. Again, man read, you're just hitting your, your whichever low ball is open, right? Now, if they go zone and they do the same thing, let me show you what's going to look like here. So, again, these are the routes you have on your field. Step up. And now what you'll notice here is these ghost routes. Because they're shaded at five yards, those hook curls are going to shade underneath the hitches. And so then what you're now um, given the opportunity to be able to do is you're going to be able to give uh, the ball to one of your ghost routes. Either one of these guys will, should be wide open. Um, you'll see here on the left side, wide open, and I'm going to take 10 yards. Um, the ghost route is really going to be kind of like that flat route. So they're going to have to mabel that side. Well, if they shade their coverage down to take care of the ghost route on the left side, then what you'll notice is Mike Evans, work the pocket, work the pocket, and bam, you got that in behind that zone coverage. That's why that route is so important uh, to have on your field because of the spacing that it gets against zone coverage. Now on the right side, you're going to have a little bit more success with this strategy just because of the lack of, uh, of curls. But what you will see is if I playmaker this running back up, he's going to get right over the top of these um, these little routes right there. So you have that option as well. But this is one of my becoming one of my favorite little plays here in the game, primarily because of how good I think it is against both man and zone. And what I really like about it is the fact that it gives you uh, just a quick pass, just a quick snap, get it out there, um, you know, get five yards. Quick snap, get it out there, and you're getting a couple yards. And we're going to show you another quick pass in our next video um, that is going to talk a little bit about what to do once you've started to establish this, what's going to be open, where should you look, and how to navigate that as well. So hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to join the tech membership if you haven't already. My number's in the description. Um, if you have any other questions as well, you can always text me, uh, Madden questions. It's, you know, it's, it, it is my real cell phone number, so we can have conversation and talk Madden that way as well. Thank you guys so much for your support. And we're going to see you here in a few short hours with another tip um, that's going to show you some really nice quick passes from this formation.